Hello, Sunday School Kids. Uh, this is Pastor Todd here, and I'm just so glad to uh, join you uh, for another episode of Newton UMC Kids Rock. You all do rock, and I'm so glad that you're joining me here today. Now, today we're going to talk about something. It's called bravery. Do you know what it means to be brave? What does brave mean? Now, if you think of the word brave, you might think of somebody who is afraid to move forward, to do something, but does it anyway because it's what he or she is supposed to do. Uh, for instance, a soldier might be afraid to move forward in battle because it could cost the soldier their lives. And we just this past week celebrated Veterans Day, right? Where we, where we uh, remember and th be thankful to the brave soldiers who served this country, both alive and those who passed away. So a soldier, when they go to war, they might be afraid. No one wants to go to war. That could cost them their life. But it's the right thing to do for their country. It's their duty and their honor to serve the country and keep us free. And so they're brave, even though they are afraid. And it's important to say that just because you're afraid doesn't mean you're not brave. In fact, you can only be brave if you act even though you're afraid. If you're not afraid and you do something, that's not being brave. That's just doing something, right? Like, like if I uh, go down and make lunch, I'm not brave. That's just something I do. I have no fear of making lunch. There's no need for me to worry about making lunch. I just go and make it. When I act because I'm afraid in the right way, that is being brave. So Jesus tells this story about a landowner who has to go away on a faraway journey and he wants his money taken care of. So he calls together three servants. The first servant, he gives five bags of money and says, take care of my money. Then to the second servant, he gives two bags of money and says, take care of my money. And then to the third servant, he gives one bag of money and says, take care of my money. And then he goes away. The first servant, who got the five bags of money, invested it and got five more bags back, meaning that he had ten bags to give back to his master when his master had only given him five. And the second servant invested his money and got two bags extra. So that means he gave back four bags of money and uh, rather than the two that his master gave him. So both of those servants made extra money for their master. The last servant took the one bag of money, dug a hole, buried it, covered it up, and remembered where he buried it so that he didn't lose risk losing any money. So when the master finally returned, the man with the five bags, the servant with the five bags, gave him back ten bags. The servant with the two bags gave him back four bags. But the servant with the one bag gave him back one bag. And the master said to the, uh, to the servants that made him money, You good and faithful servants, well done. You've done not only what I asked for, but even more. But he called the servant with the one bag wicked and foolish because that person refused to take any risks and as a result reaped no rewards for his master. And so as you can see, the first two servants were brave. Sure, and when you invest money, you could lose money. But they chose to invest it and, and, and by taking that risk, by being brave, they were able to make more money for their master. The last servant was not brave. He played it safe. He just dug a hole and put that money in there and played it safe. And so he reaped no reward for his master, which was a foolish thing to do. So as we can see, Jesus is telling us that we are to be brave. God gives us our gifts. God gives us our talents. God gives us a voice. And we are to not only use those things 
modestly, but to be bold, to be brave, and to really speak out about the love of Jesus to our friends and to our family and even to our enemies, which may take some courage and bravery to do. Anyway, here's a story about this very parable that Jesus told. Let us watch. To Jesus' parable, a story that reveals something true, there once was a man who owned a business. He was going on a trip and wanted everything to be taken care of while he was away. So he chose three of his employees and said, Okay, you're in charge while I'm gone. To the first person he gave five bags of gold. To the second person he gave two bags. And to the third person he gave just one bag of gold. Now, have you ever been put in charge of something? Maybe it was a chore like setting the table or cleaning up your toys before bed. When we're in charge, that means we're responsible. When the man in our story left on his trip, he told his employees to be responsible and do great things with what he'd given them. The person with five bags of gold worked hard and earned five more bags of gold. Wow, 10 bags? That's really great. The person with two bags of gold also showed responsibility and doubled what they'd been given. Do you know what two plus two is? That's right, four. But the third person wasn't responsible. Instead of working hard, they buried the bag of gold they'd been given in the ground and waited for the boss to come back. When the business owner returned, he was thrilled with the first two people who had doubled what he left them. They showed that they could do great things. But the third person did nothing, and that disappointed the boss. So he took his one bag of gold and gave it to the person who had ten. God might not give you bags of gold, but God has already given all of us so many good things. But God doesn't want us to waste what we've been given. God wants us to think big, because God made us to do great things. Wow, that that was an awesome story, right? So as you can see, it is important for us to be brave. Uh, that's not always easy to do, but if we pray to God to give us strength to live our lives out with bravery, if, if we pray to God to give us strength to, to invest all of ourselves into what God is calling us to do, then we will reap a reward that uh, will have eternal consequences and will help bring the kingdom of God to earth as it is in heaven. And that is an awesome thing, my friends, because once that kingdom of God is here, then we will never ever have to suffer pain or loss or sadness or hurt or illness, and we will live forever and ever with God. So that's the ultimate goal, is to help bring the kingdom of heaven here on earth. So let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we thank you and praise you for this opportunity to grow, to be brave Christians, so that we may serve you and, uh, and love you by loving others with boldness and with, brave, uh, with a brave spirit. And so we thank you for building up that strength in us and for guiding us along the way. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye, everybody. Have a great week. See you next time.